exhibit in this building temporarily is George Moore. O-H-R, George Moore, the world's famous potter. Wow. George Moore has given him a half title, the Mad Potter of Biloxi. The Mad Potter of, of Biloxi. Biloxi. Okay. okay. He is uh, a star of this campus. And he's in here in this particular building temporarily. Okay. So what we are seeing now is 60 plus pieces of this pottery that we have on hand. Okay. Where did y'all get these from? Were they we donated? We got pottery from people that had bought it and stored it on the East Coast. Okay. From Georgia up to New York. Okay. Wow. Okay. In addition to his pottery being displayed, we will also get to see and read some of his famous quotes about being a potter. Okay. A potter in the Lux. For example, he has here, this pot is here, and I am the potter who loves 1900. Wow. All right. The pot is here. All right. Now, our next uh, famous quote is. He says, the potter, George Orr says, the potter said, unto clay be of well, and it was, and it was. This is the clay that he is forming into pottery. Wow. Okay, he also wrote, get a Biloxi souvenir before the potter dies or get a reputation. No. Did they? What? Grapevine Pitcher, 1897 private collection. Y'all might want to pause when you're watching this so that you can read this. I'm trying to get it where you'll be able to read it, and it looks clear. So you'll have to pause it so you can read that. And this is a beautiful, elegant yellow with green leaves picture. Wow. It has grapes on the side of it. Okay, here's another good quote by George Ford. I am the apostle of individuality, the brother of the human race, but I must be myself, and I want every base of mine to be itself. Mm, that's deep. Yeah. Dang. This is nice. And this is all his as well? And this? Right. All of this is his. Okay. And here's a good one here. Real head heart, hand and soul, art. Real head heart, hand and soul, art. And those are pots, pictures of all kinds. Wow. Now, when he was here out in the Luxembourg before he died, his shop. Let's look over here. Okay. He found a five, five brothers in his shop. Oh, wow. All right. He says, the Luxor Mississippi clay artwork cannot be duplicated. Georgie or Fetcher means you can't make anything identical. This was uh, his shop after the fire. Well, he was trying to come back. Wow. No two pieces of art are alike. Uh -huh. He has a dot, a, a hole, or a bend, or a twist in a different spot on every piece. Mm. You would think they're identical, but they're not. Wow. He is a well-known potter throughout the world, and especially in in Canada. Wow. Okay, so we get people here. We just had some 
Canadians and Europeans today to come in and review uh, some of his work. Wow. And you can, uh, that's all uh, I can say, but you can go over in that area and get some pictures and most say. So this is the George Orr, I am the potter who was section of the African American exhibit here. And I'll scroll down just so you can read this, but you might want to push pause as you read. Yeah, that looks like a big seashell. Did he? <gasps> he did write in it, y'all. Hold on. I'm not very certain if you could see that, but he did write in it. It's hard because my reflections in the mirror or the window here. Greatest art potter of the earth. Now I'm going to see if I can get in so that y'all can read. This. It says, George Orr. I'll read it to you. George Orr with display of utilit... Sorry. Utilit pottery circa 1905 George Orr was active as a potter from 1879 until 1910 he dug his clay from the bluffs of the this is a Spanish word looking like Tuchucabufa River maybe not Spanish sorry that runs north of the Biloxi Bay and hauled it back by boat Orr's passion was creating art pottery, but he, let's see, supported his family throughout his career by making functional pottery for the coastal community. Among the items he made were flower pots, planters, chimney flues, bird feeders, and water jugs. The Biloxi Herald in 1890 stated flower pots, two for a nickel at the pottery. In the photograph right here, chimney flues and water jugs hang from the rafters. The water jugs have ring handles and two spouts. One spout is used with a cork and the other spout has a small hole, perhaps to permit airflow when the cork spout is being used. And I'm not sure if you can see that because it's kind of a reflection as well. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to get you a great picture. And this is George Orr. Okay. Moving on. You might have to push pause to look at that. I'm going to take you through the rest of it because it's only just a little bit more. And then this is the bicycle pitcher and saddle bowl, circa 1895. These are kind of chocolate brown. And they look like they have a girl or a woman on a bike with leaves. Another girl and a woman on a bike with leaves. These are all his pictures. This is the last section. He just had so many. I don't know who that is up there, y'all. But he's wearing a cheetah shirt. Watch out. That looks like his um, little store again. Okay, well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. We're going to continue along. I just wanted to go ahead and give you all the details. Love y'all. Thanks for looking.